What's up everybody, one skin mind is Matt, and welcome back to Let's Play Akrita Time 3D. In the last episode, we did a ton of side quests, including finishing up the Abbey Mask Salesman side quest, but then unfortunately I got sick for about a week and couldn't record anything. And real quick, I, I just want to say thank you to like everyone who left a comment or a message saying like get well or something on my little update video that I made. Like that was really, really awesome and really, really nice of you guys. Like even though I was sick and I wasn't really feeling that well, it, it made my day and you know, it just made being sick a little bit better just because of that. So I just want to say thank you. But um, before we continue on with the plot stuff of this game and all the story stuff, uh, there's just a few more side quests and a little bit of backtracking that I want to take care of first. We're almost done. Hopefully, if we're lucky, we can get everything in this episode. At least that's the plan. So, first things first, I want to go talk to the Magical Bean Salesman again and buy the remaining beans because I probably will be using them in this episode. Um, we are going to be visiting a few different locations, some of which we've been to already, so I'm probably going to cut around a little bit, but we are going to visit at least one location that we have never been to before and a location that, although we've been to before, we were only there for like a few moments. But that'll be a little bit later, so let's talk to this guy for now. This is a super popular Magical Beans, in case you're wondering, they'll soon be sold out. 60 rupees for one. You know what, Magical Beans salesman? I, I'm really not buying into your whole advertisement campaign. Like, it's really not working. Like, honestly, super rare. I, I just bought them. They were super popular, now they're super rare. It, it's just, it's honestly not working. You're literally lying to your only customer, and I'm right in front of you. How do you even sleep at night? Legendary Magical Beans now. These beans have legends told about them? They should just rename the game to Legend of Magical Beans now, apparently. These beans have more of a legend than freaking Link does right now. That is ridiculous. And he wants to charge 80 rupees for them. Dude, you are insane. Now, uh, technically speaking, we only need to buy 9 of these because we did that hard piece glitch, but I'm just going to go ahead and buy all of them for the sake of completion, even though I don't have to. I mean, somewhere along the line, I'll probably just go plant it to show it off, but... I don't know, 100 rupees for the last Magical Bean. So there you go, all the money that we got from that Happy Mask Salesman side quest is completely gone. How do you like that? Alright, uh, anyways though, now that we have the Mask of Truth, we're actually heading back to the area where we took the Skull's Mask, met all those uh, Deku Scrubs, and they increased our ability to carry Deku Sticks, I believe. So we're gonna head back there now we have the Mask of Truth and see what happens. I'll see you guys over there. And let's see how these Deku Scrubs react to our Mask of Truth! Oh. Well, that wasn't nearly as inviting as before. Let's go talk to this guy with his little leaf mustache. All my young Deku Scrub brothers say, you have a horrible face. Well, you have a horrible face! It's all made of wood! You have a crappy leaf mustache! But don't worry, we will reward you with many Deku Nuts! Oh, well, I kind of feel bad now. Of course, we will also enable you to carry more of them. Abracadabra, Alakazam, and there we go. Now we can carry up to 30 Deku Nuts, so that's kind of awesome. But now that that is out of the way, the next thing that I want to do is go over to Lawn Lawn Ranch. We haven't been there in a while, but there's a few things that we can pick up, so I will meet you guys over there. And here we are back at the ranch. It does have to be nighttime to get these skull flows. The first one is going to be right up here. We couldn't collect this before because we didn't have the boomerang, but now that we do, it'll make getting these skeletons a breeze for us. So there we go, there's the first one. And the second skeleton that I want to get is all the way at the back of the ranch towards uh, this direction. I believe it's, it's actually on one of the, the rock walls, I think. We should be able to see it as we uh, round this bend. It's like, oh yeah, you can just barely make it out on the wall right there. There he is. Hey, little Skosla, how you doing? I'm actually going to save my uh, slingshot ammo. There's another Skosla that I want to pick up a little bit later on. It'll be much easier to get with the slingshot. So for now, I will just use... Crow, get out of here, man. All right, I don't want to deal with you. But there we go, we got a Skosla. Oh, and the crow dropped money. Thank you, crow. That was very, very kind of you. Your death was not in vain after all. Alright, so the next thing that I want to do is actually go to a new area that we've never been to before, so let's get traveling back in Hyrule Fields. It's going to be kind of neat to go to somewhere that we haven't been before. I mean, there's really not much that we can do there right now, unfortunately, but there will be stuff that we can do there much, much later on in the game. For now, we can just go and collect a few Skultalas, plant some magical beans, and I believe we can get at least a few pieces of hearts there, so... We might even be able to get our 10th heart container in this episode. I mean, I, I think there's like three or so pieces of hearts that I want to collect in this episode. If all goes according to plan, we should be 
pretty freaking good. And hey, look, that smoke cloud right there, that's actually the mailman. He runs super fast now that he has those bunny ears. So it's a shame that we couldn't run fast using them, but at least he's getting some nice usage out of those bunny ears. Now the skulls that we want to get, again, it needs to be nighttime to get them, so I mean, we might be able to make it there fast enough, but we're going to be cutting it really, really close, so roll Link, roll for your life, we might just be able to pull this off. That'd be kind of cool, actually, I mean, going from Kokiri Forest to Lalan Ranch, all the way over to, um, to, uh, the next area, I don't really want to spoil the name, sorry, but going over the next area all in one night, that's kind of efficient. Oh wait, no, I did play, I did play the Sun Song, never mind. Forgot about that. So it's not all one night, but it's two nights then. But we did make it, so that's kind of cool. But here we are in Gerudo Valley. This place has really, really awesome music, but you don't get to hear it at night, unfortunately. We might catch a, a glimpse of it uh, a little bit later on. Oh no, it's just about to break morning. Oh, we need to be fast, Link. Can we get this skull before morning breaks? Let's go. Hurry up. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Nice. And we just made it too. Morning just broke. That skull would have disappeared right as the uh, the cuckoo crowed, I guess. Oh, you know what? Now I'm gonna do something really, really stupid. So there's this ledge over here, and on this ledge is a piece of heart. Now we need this chicken to do actually two things. So if I could actually manage to do this with this one chicken on this one run, that would be awesome. But this is actually really, really hard to pull off. So first things first, actually I'm going to need to equip my bombs, so let's probably do that to at least set myself up for success. But what you want to do is, uh, land over here with the cuckoo, put the cuckoo down, plant a bomb, and then quickly grab the cuckoo again, bring it over here, that way the piece of heart is revealed, then just quickly drop the cuckoo, grab the piece of heart, and if we skip through this fast enough we can grab the cuckoo again, yes! Alright, now that we've done that, we can actually jump down to the next area that we want to go to. Now, uh, if you don't do that quick enough or the cuckoo walks off the edge, unfortunately you're kind of screwed and you have to like, the cuckoo's wings aren't even flapping anymore. Uh, I think this is kind of a glitch. Um, I, I don't know what happened to the cuckoo, but it apparently it has no more wings. Or actually no, they're stuck like jetting out of its back right now. That is really, really disturbing. Well, that's interesting. Uh, cuckoo, we don't need you anymore. So just go over there, I guess. Yeah, you want to float down here, uh, because it's a soft soil spot, and actually, you know what, I need to... Why'd you come all the way down here? What? You were just about to ask me the same thing. Well, now that you're down here, you may as well make the best of things. That's actually some good advice, Gerudo lady. Uh, we do need to clone our bugs real quick, so let's do that. We might as well clone all three of them, why not? I mean, we are going to need... Probably, yeah, actually, we're probably actually going to need all three of them in this episode, so... Let's jump out this bug. And let's quickly go. One. All right, come on. We got one bug so far. Let's skip this text. Blah, blah, blah. I uh, got two bugs. And can we get the third? Can we get the third bug? Yes, we can. There we go. Oh, by the way, you can actually do this in any order. You can plant a bean, then do a bug, or do a bug, then plant a bean. I usually do bug first, but it doesn't really matter which order you do it in. And that's a great camera angle, by the way. That's utterly perfect. All right, so we should be able to get another skull from this. Any day now. There we go. Come here, Skulltula. Thank you very much. And now let's plant some magical beans. Get in the hole, beans. Get in the hole. Well done. All right, now, if you go in this river, this river actually takes you out to Lake Hylia. And although I do want to go there, I want to go behind the waterfall real quick. There's a nice little secret behind here that I want to actually collect. Now... You need to make sure you jump behind the waterfall. There's actually a current, but if you go behind the waterfall, the current actually doesn't take you down, which allows you to get onto this ladder. And if we go all the way to the top of said ladder, we can see the back end of the waterfall. It's amazing. It's breathtaking. It's the eighth wonder of the world. But there we go. There's actually a piece of heart up here for you to easily collect. And that brings us to our 10th heart container. So that is kind of cool. But now let's take the River Express down to Lake Hylia. That's actually the last area that I want to go to. And there's a few skulls let's see collect in there. Uh, there's a mini game that we can play to get a piece of heart. We can learn another song technically as well. So yeah, there is there's a lot of stuff to do in Lake Hylia. I'm, I'm so glad that we actually get to start uh, doing a lot of stuff now that we have uh, our basic items and necessities and stuff like that. 
So let's go. Unfortunately, we don't get like any, very many rupees from that at all. I don't think we actually got any of them. But we want to go off to the right here. Land on this little patch of grass that we can be in like the main area of Lake Hylia. This is actually where you would come in out of Hyrule Field right over there. Uh, on the back end of this house, actually, there's going to be a Skulltula we can collect, so let's do that right now. You can only get this one at night. Uh, there's, there's a lot of Skulltulas like that in the game that you can only get at night. Unfortunately, we don't have any Slingshot ammo, so I'm going to have to be really, really lucky with my Boomerang. Thankfully, of course, it can go directly through solid rope, so that is awesome. Alright, let's pick up this Skulltula token. I'm probably going to have to change tonight again, because there's one other Skulltula that I want to collect in here, but first things first... Actually, there's two Skulltulas. Uh, first things first, let's get the one in the dirt right here. Plop those bugs out and get to it, bugs. There you go. Give me my skill to love, please. Thank you very much. I will take this gladly. What does that bring us to? That should bring us really, really close to 40. Uh, 41 actually. Wow, that's over 40. Good for us. Sweet. So, uh, I think we could actually go back to the House of Skulltula and get our next upgrade, but it's not really an upgrade at all. It's an item that we already got in the Bomb Chew Like, they're gonna give us Bomb Chews is, is what the next item is. Um, since we already got it in Bomb Chew Bowling, it's nothing new. So, I, I don't even think I'm gonna bother getting it. Um, there's one other Skulltula that I want to get, so let's go across this bridge again. It's gonna be out on the island in the middle of Lake Hylia, not the one with the tree on it, the one next to the one with the tree on it. It's, it's way less extravagant. Hello, owl. I don't want to talk to you. I'm going to avoid talking to the owl. Peace out, dude. I'm not talking to you today, that's for sure. Alright, so, yeah, like I said, it's not the island with the tree on it. It's actually the one over there next to it. It's got the two little, um, like, pillars. I'm not sure it has to be nighttime or not. Uh, let's take a stroll over there now. If it's there, great. If it's not, then I'll just play the Sun Song and it'll be nighttime and then it'll be there. But I don't actually remember if this one is uh, time specific or not. It looks like it is because you'd be able to see it right now uh, if it was if it wasn't time specific. So well, let's go ahead and play the Sun Song, I guess. And Skull, so there you are. I love how it just like appears randomly. It just like grows out of the side of the pillar. But there we go. Nice little Skull so for us. And there's two more things that I want to do. I want to play a minigame and pick up another song while we're here. Uh, we actually could have done the song, the minigame, and all the Skulltulas, uh, when we were here from... Actually, no, we could have done all the Skulltulas, we wouldn't have the boomerang. But yeah, you could have done most of the stuff when you were here originally, um, when you had to pick up the bottle that had Rudo's letter in it from Zora's Domain. So you could have done a lot of the stuff then, but I just like to do it all at once when you can. So let's check out this minigame area, which is... The fishing pond. The fish are really biting today. I wonder if he, I wonder if he changes his message every day or if it's just like false advertisement. But let's go fishing. Well, do you want to go fishing for 20 rupees? Sure we do. Thank you kindly. Here's your rod and lure, young man. Mind the rules and have yourself a good time. Okay, listen up. Walk up to the water's edge and press L to look at the fish. While looking at the fish, you can cast your line with B. Press A to break the line. When the lure drops into the water, you can wiggle it with a circle pad. If you're a novice, you can also press B. Uh, reel in your lure with A, hold A and R to reel it in faster. If you feel a hit, press A and down to set the hook. After that, reel in with A. You understand? Yeah, we do. Alright, I'm so generous, I'll let you fish for as long as you want. However, you can only keep one fish. The biggest fish ever caught here was six pounds. After you cast, change your view with L. Let's fish. Alright, let's fish indeed. So basically, our goal here is to catch a fish uh, larger than six pounds. Uh, the biggest one in this pond right now, I believe, is ten pounds. And normally, he's around this middle area. So let's see if we can get lucky. We're probably not, honestly. Like, this is notoriously one of the most annoying minigames uh, in Ocarina of Time. So we're probably going to be here for a while. I kind of want to show it off. But at the same time, I don't because it just, it's just going to take so much time. And I, I, I see the fish right there. He's off to the right. Like, I just need to get my my angle correctly when I cast. And we should be able to get this guy pretty easily. So, let's try and line this up again. And I, I want to make sure I at least show one caught fish. But there... Oh, hang on. We might actually get his attention here. Come here, dude. Come on. A little bit closer. Let's get his attention. Come on. Oh, you're like right there. You're like right there, dude. Please, just, just come on. Get, yes, there we go. All right, sweet. Let's reel him in. I believe this is like the, the nine or ten pound fish. So 
Come on, fish, get on here, man. Just, just be easy for me today, dude. Just be easy for me. Like, honestly, this, this mini game only gets harder too. Like, we have to play this at least twice, and right now it's, it's technically the easier version, but it's still difficult. It, it's not like difficult to reel them in. Like, you only have to press the two buttons. It's just annoying because this fish fights back so much. It's just really, really obnoxious, and I can't get. Oh, there we go. There's a better view for you. All right, come on, fish, get over here. You can kind of like lead its direction with the circle pad or the direction movement, which you go in, and that kind of helps. But it's really just all about when the fish decides to give up and reel in. So, come on, fish, just be nice and easy. I mean, I'm doing the whole A and R thing. We're reeling this guy sucker in. He's getting a little bit closer. It looks like he's almost there. Come on, fish. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. 10 pounds, nicely done. Of course we want to keep it. Let's go show it to this guy. He's gonna be impressed with our fishing skill. Weigh my fish, whoa! That fish is huge, it looks like it's a new record, at least 10 pounds, seriously, okay. Here is your prize. And with that, he gives us a piece of heart. Nicely done, Link. And uh, I wanna quit, I mean we can't top like freaking 10 pounds. Come back when you get older, the fish will be bigger too. Well, maybe. All right, we'll we'll do, fisherman. We'll do. And as the last thing, actually, oh, there's two things that I want to do. I totally just forgot about another piece of part that we can collect. So two things I want to do real quick. Let's uh, go and talk to this scarecrow right here. He's actually going to teach us a new song, or well, kind of. I'm Benuru, the scarecrow, musical genius. I hear a song once, and I never forget it, baby. All right, let's pull up the ocarina. Whoa, you have an ocarina. Hey, why don't you lay a tune on me with it, baby? All right, now in classic Zelda LP fashion, I'm just gonna do this. Well, not bad. I remember it, for you anyways. I don't mean I can't remember only eight notes, but let's just cut it right there for now, baby. All right, so that song is called the Scarecrow Song. Basically, it's gonna come in handy a lot later on uh, in dungeons and stuff like that. We can call upon the Scarecrow and uh, it'll allow us to get certain items. So yeah, it's kind of useful. But there's one more thing that I want to do before we end off this episode. We have to leave Lake Hylia, back out to Hyrule Field real quick. And somewhere in the middle of these two fences that sort of block your way into Lake Hylia from another mode of transportation is a little bit of a secret. And our Shard of Agony will actually come in handy here uh, because I'm not exactly sure of the uh, location of it, but I believe it's like in the middle somewhere. I guess let's try dropping a bomb here and see what happens. Oh, well, I, I guess I was right. It was directly in the middle, so there you go. But down in this hole, if I equip my Deku Shield real quick, actually, that way we can actually deflect the Deku Nut that this guy's going to shoot at us. There's a business scrub down here, and he will sell us a piece of heart for 10 rupees. That is like the best deal in this game, so of course I'm going to take that deal. Thank you kindly, Deku Scrub. I will gladly take that piece of heart. But that is like everything that I wanted to do in this episode. So, once again, guys, my name is Matt. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.